Hello, Steve White, Steve Art 39. This is going to be a short video because it's a very simple thing. No, it's not healthy. Um, Cosmopolitan has put out a cover or two covers of um, their magazine with some obese women um, and saying that this is healthy. No, it's not. Oh my God. Um, I understand that we can't fat shame people, that, that fat shaming is wrong, that that doesn't help and it doesn't help motivate them, it doesn't do anything, it's just evil and wrong and just because you're overweight doesn't mean anything more than you have a problem with your eating. Um, it doesn't mean you're a bad person or a stupid person or um, you don't deserve the same respect and treatment um, or opportunities as other people. Now some careers, physicality is a factor so that would factor in just as much as your height or whatever um, but besides that there shouldn't be anything against people that they're being discriminated against because of their weight that's just wrong but it's like they've gone to this extreme where we have to stop people from being discriminated against so we're going to go all the way to the other side and actually say this is healthy when it's not like somehow that's going to stop the fat shaming and change the situation no it's not and it's just misinformation and giving people the wrong you shouldn't be telling obese, overweight obese people that it's okay to be overweight and obese no you need to change this it's something that is affecting your life and your health now and it's going to make it even worse in the future and you're going to be filling up a hospital bed that didn't need to be filled because you're creating a problem that you could have cured just by changing your health and your eating but no they're actually saying that this is healthy and it's not I'm like how can you say this? I just don't understand. It's, 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 it's just wrong. It's just factually wrong. That, I understand that you can have a level of fitness while still having an amount of body fat on your body, but there's only a certain amount of that. It has to be external. It can't be internal in your organs. That's when you get into the problems, and once you get to a certain weight, that pretty much happens automatically. Um, I know from watching Oprah back in the day, even though she had fair amount of fat and she was a bit overweight um, her overall fitness she jogged every day she did all this she was physically fit she just ate too much and had stored too much body fat that is different from you know being really obese in which case it, 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 it affects things differently it's not it's not about being a stick thin model not everyone can look like that not everyone should like that should look like that not everyone looks good like that I don't mind beefy guys I find bears and pandas really cute. I'm not at all bothered by weight on other people. I, myself, I have issues. I cannot have any weight on me. I, I start to, um, I, I, I have issues. I know that, but I'm not projecting that on other people. I don't think people should be thin because I am. Um, people should be healthy, and everyone's weight is going to be different. Some people are going to be heavier. Some people are going to be thinner. I am naturally thin. I think that's why when I do gain any weight, it doesn't sit well on me, and it messes me up in my head because of how it looks and how I feel. Other people, they can gain a bit of weight and it looks good on them. But there's a margin where this is healthy and normal and acceptable. And these people on these covers have passed that. And I don't want to say anything bad about these women. They seem beautiful. They're probably nice people. Their intentions are probably good because um, it's about body positivity. And bo body positivity is fine in the moment. You shouldn't be shaming yourself for being obese. But the fact is you still have to change it. You're not accepting it saying, this is how I am, this is how I should be, this is good, you're saying basically there's nothing wrong with me on, on you know in the moment but I have to change it, there's always the but it has to change like you shouldn't be discriminating against people in the moment because of their weight but they still have to change it, they have to work on it, they shouldn't have gotten to that state and they have to do something about it so this just does my mind in that they're saying oh it's, it's like having an alcoholic person sitting on the cover saying you know they're, and they're a legit alcoholic and they're like this is healthy. No, it's not. It's like having a smoker on the cover of the, of, of, the, of the magazine saying, this is healthy. No, it's not. Obesity is not healthy. Uh, being a little overweight is questionable. It's probably healthy for most people, um, depending on how it's distributed and so forth. Um, but uh, these girls are big. They're not like, you know, um, Nicki Minaj, big butt, big, big boobs. They're not... Um, I'm trying to think of someone sort of big but not really big, um, like uh, thick but not obese. I, I can't think of anyone um, in the moment. Um, 
but yeah, you don't have to be a stick thin model. But that, but the opposite of that is not accepting and approving of people who are overweight and saying that's healthy when it's not. I mean, it's just, I just, I don't. This is just stupid. I saw Mega Random covering this. I didn't watch the video because I'm not watching all the videos anymore. Because um, she sort of irked me, but um, I didn't need to watch the video or to see anything other than those covers. All I needed to see. Because I've done a couple of videos on people who are overweight, and I did a, a video about all the fat shaming for um, Mary Wiseman on Star Trek Discovery. It's disgusting. She doesn't need to lose weight. That's nothing to do with her her personality, her worth as a human being, or anything like this. And fat shaming her, insulting her, humiliating her, whatever. There's no excuse for that. Um, it has nothing to do with the quality of the show. You do not need to do that to criticise the show. The show has enough problems. You do not need to be attacking her personally. It's ridiculous. But at the same time, she does need to lose some weight because she's gained a bit of weight and it's probably not healthy for her. She's not really, really obese. She's only a little overweight, so it's it's. but it's something that's happened recently. So unless she was always big and holding it off, the fact it's changed so much now, there's something um, you know out of balance in her life she needs to deal with. Um, and unfortunately, weight, you can't hide. Like, a lot of people have problems in their lives and they can hide it. But if you're an actress and weight is your issue, it's just there for everyone to see and criticise and doesn't mean they should. Um, but yeah, she needs to do something. So, and same thing with Lizzo. Everyone was celebrating her and I'm like, okay, big, thick, good, in theory, but she's... She's that little bit too big. She needs to lose some of that weight. It cannot be healthy. Um, and that's what it's about. It's about health. But then you bring this up and people say, you're fat shaming. And these deranged people, they, they just have these slogans and these flags they want to wave. Oh, body positivity, body positivity. Um, it's only body positivity if you're healthy. Um, you know, body positivity for people who are healthy but, you know, aren't stick fin models because no... You, I mean, some people naturally look like that. That's fine. But hey, people who aren't, they should be proud of that body. They should be proud. Of, they should be proud. There's no problem with that. It doesn't mean they're not sexy. But um, there's a point where you go past that, and then it's just not healthy. How do I need to explain this fifty freaking times? I mean, it's so simple. And I'm just going to stop talking because I, I sh this video should have been two minutes. But it just does my head in. Um, I just don't know what these people think they're achieving. What, you're going to get a whole generation of people to say, yes, it's okay to be fat, and then they don't lose the weight, they've got no motivation. They shouldn't have negative reinforcement, but they do need the motivation to change it. So what is your goal? You have a whole generation of people who are positive and happy about being obese and overweight, and then they all die early because of avoidable illnesses? I mean, what an achievement. I mean, what the hell? And there is a lot of obese people in America, so this is not just a couple of random obese people and we can just sort of say, well, if they're happy like that, they're not hurting anyone. No, there's a whole lot, of, there's a whole generation of people with health problems that just is causing the health industry problems. And it's just so unnecessarily, like, like smoking. Just stop. Eating, just stop. Manage it. Ugh. I'm going to go. It's too annoying. I cannot even keep talking about it. But the more I talk about it, the more it pisses me off. And the more I want to talk about it. So I'm just going to turn the camera off.